So this is Bart Fleischman right here at the Speaking Elevator Cola, and this is the third year in Tarsha's Ten Coast. I'm going to try to get into this a little more. The the particular pieces are extremely long. So I decided to cut it up so that we could have a little bit as we keep going on. That's what I've been doing. The Zohar says like this right here in this place right here, and we've been talking about the elements that compose speech. He said, the rods of the Mila, now we're talking about the secrets of this. Let me get it back in the wrong place. He said, the rods of the Mila, me zois oila minamidbar. Who is this that is coming out from the desert, in the place of total, completely emptiness? Katimbas ashen, like columns of smoke. The ashen amarokho. This is actually the smoke that comes from the display of wood, or the array of wood that's on the altar. The salak min libid the mucha, so that comes out from the light, from the heart, which he had said previously is associated with pain, and it goes to the mocha. We call ruchin the alma lo zazen le maasre. No ruach. Ruach is a word that you step on it or you try to push your finger on it, it has lots and lots of meaning. So they call ruchin. So all spiritual entities, like winds and vapors and scents and all these different things, the alma, lo zazen le ma'asra, they never leave from that place. Let's see what the Matat of the Bash says. He said, the rods of the Mila, now here's the secret, so the Dabr Shalis order the Sabina to the Chokmah, where we're rousing Bina to Chokmah. Who Masha calls it, Mizais Oila Min Hamidbar. Who is this that is coming up from the desert? Ketimros Asha and like columns of smoke, and now he explains like this, This is referring to the wood that is displayed on the altar. And he says, which altar? He said, particularly the altar of incense. And where do we find the altar of incense? It's in extremely inside the base of Mikdash in a high place. And this particular position corresponds to the level of Bina in the spiritual world. The Salak min leave the mocha because it goes out from the heart and it goes to the moach. What does this mean? Sha'ola his order this min alev, so there's arousal that comes from the heart. Shuhu habina. Al hamoach shuhu achachma, and it goes to the brain, which is where chachma. The call ruchin the alma lo zazin le ma'asra. And the map of translate, shakal ruchin shuba olam, all of the winds, all of the winds of the world. They cannot move the arousal that takes place from the heart to the moach from its place. Which is similar, in other words, that, that fire keeps going up, the smoke keeps going up. It's similar to the fire, the smoke, of the, of the Mizbeah. Sha'echad Mechasara Nisim, because one of the ten Nisim, Shehoyah the Basin Mekdash, was in the Holy Temple. Shalot Netzcha HaRuach Es Amud HaAsha. That the literal translation is that the wind that the the Mizbech was in the open. There's no roof up above it. And there was never a time when the wind came and stopped the column of smoke that is coming from this from going up. Blow it away. It's on a lomer. Even though we understand that ruach represents the middle line, right? It's the pharis, is ruach. And it represents rachamim. It hasn't had the power to change the nature of the heart to become completely rachamim. Until you can heat up the coldness of Chochmah. Now, I, this is a metaphor which I'm only thinking is like this. Bean is the left side, the left side is cold. Chochmah is the right side. The right side is warm. The right side is warm in the sense of compassion. So he says, Ad shiachamamo as kriyas moach Chochmah until you can warm up the kriyas, the, the coldness of the of Chochmah. And when that becomes aroused, then brings out Chesed and Rachamim, and this here has been the fourth year, I think, for Parshat Pinnacle.